I'm Tyrell, this is Real Ones, and I'm here with Benji. First thing I want to ask you, you're from Pittsburgh, right? Yes. Growing up in Pittsburgh, who are some of your influences around the city? Because there are a lot of dope artists that came out of there. I think the obvious Wiz and Mac, right? Right, um, right. Mac was a musician, so I leaned more towards Mac just in that regard, but, you know, Wiz was one of the first people to do it and do it how he did it. Right, 100%. So that's, that's always an inspiration to see that coming from our city like that. So Right, everyone was screaming Taylor Gang at one point, you know man, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, people like that paved a lot of the way. But then also, I got really talented friends, man, so, like, growing up with them and watching them do amazing things and how they did it, it was always inspiring to me. I've seen that day to day. Right. Hey, speaking of your talented friends, you're part of Spillage Village. I want to talk a little bit about, like, Spillage and, and working on that. That album is legendary. I mean, the collective individually is legendary. So whenever you guys come together, at least for me, it's always an event. What was it like working on that album? That was like my first opportunity to working on a major placement, working on a major album. You know, I had already toured with Earth Gang. Uh, yeah. Prior to that, I opened up for them. My brother is Jid's DJ and producer. So that was my connection to that, but like actually working with them on music, that was my very first time. I didn't even go in there with the intention of like joining Spillville. I was just trying to get a placement. You know, I had a relationship with everybody. We're all managed by the same people. It's really a family. But you know, I got some good work in and you know, I really got to see some beautiful creatives go to work and ultimately, you know, led me to being on the album and then joining the group. Must have been a little like surreal being in that space watching all these people that you know you look up to that are slowly becoming more and more prominent in the hip-hop scene in the mainstream just in their element doing their thing that's awesome how have things changed for you since your project uh smile you're alive Whew. <laughs> everything has changed i've been not thrust into a national spotlight but my audience has gotten wider right obviously the the spillville connection helps tremendously if anything is more confirming that the music really works um and you know what i'm able to do works it has a place somewhere but it's been nice just being able to be you know a little more room um different studio sessions yeah. i've gotten a tour three times ever since all three for earth game i opened up for earth game for my very first tour and then i played bass with them for the last two shout out to them because they've been giving me a lot of first give me a lot of first those are some real niggas I, I remember i met them a couple years back at one of smino's after parties when they were on tour both johnny and uh now wow they're both very genuine guys. Wow, even gave me some like writing advice, which you know I thought was mad cool. So yeah, shout out Earth Gang for real. You talked about how you have an EP coming up, right? During your set, when's that coming? Uh, we'll see. You know, you don't want to drop anything without like a solid foundation. Right. Even if it's just an EP, it all still requires a commitment. So we're getting some creative stuff around it, good to go. The music's already done. Nobody has to worry about that. But at the same time, you want to drop stuff and release stuff that you're proud of with a little bit of oomph within the next month. I can confidently say that. While you've been working on this new EP, like, where have you been finding your inspiration? I like to live life, man. And that doesn't mean like I do a bunch of wild and crazy things. <laughs> it's just more so, I'm not a studio rat like I used to be. I'm getting older, so like there's a lot more that I can observe. And that's where I get my material from. Before, I used to write a lot about personal things. You can reach a lot more people when you speak on kind of more universal similarities. So I've just been living life, meeting people, having conversations, you know, being outside, basically, when I can but also just really trying to understand and learn people um, and learn more about people. My experiences shape the things that I write about and what I can connect with more people about too. Lastly, is there anything you want to tell the people, tell the fans, any words of wisdom? Just keep doing your thing. Like, it's really all on you. It doesn't have to be compared to anybody else. You don't have to do it like anybody else. All you have to do is just believe in what you want Go for it, fail, succeed, try again, rinse and repeat. What's for you is always for you, and what isn't, isn't there for a reason. If you stick with that, you'll be less disappointed, I promise. <laughs> Man, I agree wholeheartedly. Benji, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate I'm Tyrell Alejandro. This has been Real Ones. We're out.